Hi guys. So in this video, I'll be discussing about my own interview experience with Capgemini. Okay. So Capgemini is really a nice service-based organization. So if you want to get into that organization, then what all type of question you may expect from that as a senior software engineer or around five to six years of experience, if you are having even more than that. So what can you expect? Okay. So there, there are like multiple rounds. There will be like a two technical rounds and then there will be finally one uh, for me, it happened like a uh, stoichiometric type of test and English test. So those things happen as a third round. Then after that, HR round and then salary discussion happened. So coming to L1 round, which is the first round. So what was asked in that? So in that, basically, they have asked about my project, which all tech stacks I have uh, worked in. Okay. So they told, they asked me about to explain that project, how we are maintaining the authenticity like how we are maintaining the authorization. Okay, so those things the, the interviewer asked me. Okay, and apart from that, they uh, went into depth, like how authorization is working with JWT. Okay, so they first asked me like, how are you authorizing? Whether have you used JWT token or you have used OAuth or any other way of authorizing? So I told like, we have been working with JWT token. So they go in depth, like what are the types uh, like how you are doing author authorization with JWT. Okay. So there are three major parameters like header payload and uh, signature. Okay. So what are all those? Okay. How the flow works. So those things they were asking basically. So if you search in Google, you can very easily get that. It's not that difficult. Then they ask about various Java 8 features like default and static methods, then functional interface, then streams. So basically, you know, right, the service-based company ask mainly Java 8 features, new Java features, okay? So they are focused mainly, mainly on streams, okay? Streams, optional, then default static methods, functional interface, these things they will be mainly focusing upon. So they asked me questions on streams only, like uh, how to calculate, um, like they ask, like they will be like an employees list. Okay, so in employee, there will be like few male candidates and few female candidates. So he asked me to write a uh, code in using Java 8 feature that is streams only to map like they are n male employees, they are m female employees. So we have to give like in the set of this employee list, there are five male employees and seven female employees. So like that, you have to map it and you have to show the, the output in a console. So you can very easily do that, okay? So you just have to map the data like employee DTO, colon, colon, get the name of the employee and then uh, you can do collectors.counting, okay? So you can do it in stream. So you can try it out by your own. It's not that difficult, okay? Then uh, they have asked about uh, different, like in SQL also they have asked like how can you calculate the fifth largest uh, salary of an employee? from an employee database. So how you can do that? So it's like a most common question they have asked. Then they have asked about Java in Java, like in strings concept they have asked, like uh, how a string is immutable. Okay, so immutable properties and how can you make a new class an immutable class? So those things they were asking. Okay, so they have asked few questions on collections as well, like the difference between map and hash map. Then uh, the difference between synchronized hash map and, uh, and concurrent hash map. So these things you can expect. And you can expect something around garbage collection because out of eight interviews I have given, six interviewers have asked me, okay, about garbage collection. So you can you are knowing, right? Garbage collection is most important. Okay, so it will be like young gen, old gen. Okay, so what all things are present? Like if any new object gets created, so where it goes? Okay, and if you are creating a new reference variable, or you are create, or you are just, uh, you are not creating object with new keyword. You are just writing int a equal to five, where it will go in the JVM. Okay, where it will go to heap, or it will go to stack, or which part of JVM it will go. So that full JVM architecture, they can ask you from any anywhere they can ask. Like what are the components of JVM architecture? That way you can, it can also be asked. Okay, so they can ask you the difference between JDK, JRE and JVM. Okay, so apart from these, they can ask you about coding questions as well. So most commonly coding question asked was like shifting zeros to the right or to the left. Okay, so this is asked in almost all and uh, hash map internal implementation, how it all works. So these things mainly basic questions they have asked. And uh, if I go to L2 round, so in L2 round, what they have asked, so they have, they have mostly focused on streams in L2 round as well. So in L2 round, they were asking like if there is a stream of employees, okay? 
there are a lot of employee objects in a stream so i have to find it out like and unique employees okay so you employees with the unique address okay employee with the unique salary okay with different age okay so like that they can ask you okay or you can ask you like distinct salary employees you want to fetch it out from database okay so how can you do that so distinct also as well as unique also or they can ask you duplicate also how many employees are duplicating okay so that way also they can ask so you have to be prepared with all type of thing like distinct method how to use set can how can you use set in a string so that you can fetch the duplicate content okay duplicate fields how can you fetch that so those things they were asking and uh, they were asking like a count of uh, all the employees with a particular salary in each department Okay, so there will be like a department within which there will be group of employees and each employee will be having a particular salary. So they can ask you like, how can you find the maximum salary in each department of a particular of a particular set of employees? Okay, or they can give you a number like I want the count of employees within each department with the salary in the range of 40,000 to 60,000 or with a salary greater than 60,000 or less than 40,000 like that it can be asked. So you can expect questions around this only and may mostly the questions will be on streams. Okay. Then if they are more interested to ask you more, then they can ask you on optional also. Like how can you, like what are the advantages of using optional apart from solving null pointer exception? So what else can you do with optional class? So basically optional class is not only helping us in solving null pointer exception, rather it helps us to throw the exception also. Or if you want to uh, check whether the data is present or not, you have to print the data or else. There is some some there is a method called if present or else. So it will accept two argument. First will be consumer type functional interface data, which is having accept method. And second argument will be or else. Like if it, data is not present then else part, there will be like a runnable, runnable class, okay? Sorry, runnable interface. So runnable interface is an empty action. So internally it is having a run method. So there like empty action you can write. It will not return me anything, but it will just print the data, whatever you want to print through loggers or through SOP statement. So that way they can ask, or if you want to get something, let's suppose you are using optional class. How can you get the data using optional class? So there is something called if present or else get. Okay, so that method also you can use. Or you can throw exception also using optional class. You can use like optional dot if present or else throw. So there are three methods in optional class. So you can do research on that. So these things are asked. And then again, authorization, authentication on JWT token, these things were asked. So it was like a common thing. Okay, you, you can expect in every interviews. And then uh, they have asked like, how have you improved the overall uh, functionality boost okay how have you increased the productivity of your application okay how have you increased the performance of your application by 2x or 3x or by 15 percent or 20 percent how have you done that and how have you checked it whether you have improved your perf uh, performance of the application or not so basically you can directly hit the url in a particular environment like sit or uat environment you can directly hit it to the uh, postman okay and you can see like how much time it is taking to fetch the response and based upon that time you can judge like previously how much time it was taking and now after your code uh, changes how much time it is taking now okay or what you can do you can go uh, check through app dynamics okay so through app dynamics there is some url is present for app dynamics okay so there also you can go and check the status and there is something called as actuator where you can check the health status of your API or microservices. So these are the ways through which you can get to know like whether you have actually improved the performance of your application or not. Okay, so these can be asked and uh, there will be some questions around Docker, Kubernetes. Okay, how have you done the orchestration? So those part also you have to be prepared on that. So there will be like three, four major sections like Spring Boot, few questions on annotations and uh, Hibernate related questions. Then uh, with respect to JPA, they, they can ask few questions. Then with respect to Docker Kubernetes, they can ask few questions. Then with respect to Java and microservices, they can ask few questions. One or two questions on SQL, they may ask you. And uh, questions will be revolving around this and then uh, 40, 50 minutes will be passed in this only if you keep on answering the question. So, this was it. And then the third round was the uh, stoichiometric kind of test where they were asking to speak something and they will be recording. And uh, they were asking me to write 
one mail to check my English language. Okay, how am I in English? Okay, these things they were checking and they were writing, they were giving like fill in the blanks to add prepositions. Okay, those, those things, three, four things was there. One was speaking test, one was a writing test, one was fill in the blanks, some paragraph was written for a context purpose and then we have to understand and we have to fill in the blanks with prepositions or fit the proper data, those things were asked. So three, four questions were surrounding that. Then after these three rounds, then finally I was selected, then HR round happened and all. So those things, so this was my whole overall experience in Capgemini. So if you are going to give interview for Capgemini as a senior Java developer with around five to six, I'm having 6.8 eight years of experience so this these type of questions were asked to me so you can expect similar type of questions okay so if you want to know more if you want to learn in depth what all things have been asked in exactly then you can comment it down i can create a separate video on that or or we can connect on mail as well so uh, we can connect on linkedin as well if you want so there also we can have a conversation okay so i hope you got the clarity you got the concept so we'll see you in the next lecture with next set of videos so till then it's Devjit Roy signing off. Bye-bye.